uh, propaganda poster. Hold on, dude. This is the War Metal Podcast, and if anyone doesn't like it, turn it off, because we're here to <laughs> upset you, and we're out of this world, baby. Prepare to get mind blown by War Mode. <laughs> yeah, how sick is that, dude? Yeah, I mean, that's a next level fucking front yard. It's, you, it's majestic. Is that what was Ricky there by himself uh, yesterday? Doing nah, all that? Ricky by us, I mean, no offense to Ricky, but it's just sitting in my house watching Mandalorian. <laughs> He's watching Mando. I mean, you guys are pretty <laughs> much dating at this point. Yeah, I mean, that's a devastating front yard. Yeah. Why are you doing that instead of podcasting? What? Why are you doing that instead of podcasting? I'm you have you, you have about? fans that need you, dude, and you're doing stuff oh, to better your I, life. No, you're doing one of these. Okay, why? I got you. I got you. They're, dude, we're treating them so <laughs> shitty. <laughs> it's so fucked up that they're we're just treating goofing. Them they're just goofing. Yeah, they know we're busy. Yeah, most people know we're busy. The other people are a little out of touch. I maybe. gotta put my. I had to reassemble my brain because I did drugs. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I forgot <laughs> we haven't done it since the bachelor party. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't there the first night, but I heard you had a good old time. What was that like being up in that crisp air, just sniffing on stuff? The crisp air is amazing. Being with the bro, the bro ship was amazing. Yeah, that was. Fucking That's a fellowship, dude. Yeah, I and those are fellows. <laughs> those are your fellow men, dude. <laughs> I take that. I mean, obviously, give me checks, dude. If you put chicks in that equation, that would have been dangerous. No, no, no. Yeah. I know that, but I'm saying that's why like, you don't have them at the bachelor parties. That that vi- like all the people were like oh like last night when I was at that thing I wa- I went back to my car and I went home didn't drink, but they were like yeah we're gonna go to the fucking bar. It's like why would you want to go to the bar? We got everything we need right here. Why do we need to go out to the bar with COVID restrictions and fuck around? There's nothing better than house parties. Fuck man, Th- thought it was on silent. And you thought it was on silent. It wasn't, dude. Because you're shitty to people. You're shitty to the fans, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you're I hate killing my vibe. I had the best fucking morning. I woke yeah, up. Yeah, the boat. Morning. I woke up. I called you. You don't pick up the fucking phone. It was Obviously, I think I it's snoozing. White Claw Billy because no. I saw your truck parked outside of Rosie's last night. Oh, I thought, I'm you, I thought you were partying last night. Oh uh, no, I wasn't partying. Yeah, so you're admiring. killing my vibe. I'm planting trees. I'm out Whoa, in nature. Wait. I'm in a nursery in the morning, dude. That's not near your house. What? That's not near your house. I was busy. I was coming driving back with mulch, bro. Where? I was driving back from Home Depot with topsoil. Oh, fuck. I thought yeah. you just loaded. It was in the middle of the day. It was like 5 o'clock. Like 5 o'clock, yeah, whatever. That's the middle of my work day. I thought, I thought you put a bunch of loose fertilizer in the back of your van. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Outside of Rosie's. No, I got a bunch you of... You want a yeah. podcast? <laughs> no, dude, you're killing me, man. I was like, we, planted, we went to the nursery. I was chilling. My mushies kicked in. I was having a blast. Planted that tree, goat, driving Sounds down. Sounds like you and Ricky have a better time than me and you. That's fine. <laughs> Okay. I mean, he is elite, but we were driving down. I'm driving down Kelly Drive, all the babes, you know, oh. tunes. What? I What, though? What I tunes? broke my brain. I broke my brain. What tunes? Like, even though <clears throat> I've been listening to the same five songs since we left the bachelor party because I, a screw's loose in my head now. What songs? I, you, don't even want, you don't even know them. I don't know. I'm okay. Never yeah. mind. I mean, they're just songs. Like, Something you like. Just five songs that no one else would like that I've been listening to on repeat. Right. Like, I couldn't even have made an intro if I had time. You're acting like you have a burnt C day in your car I'm and broken. you have Spotify. I'm broken. <laughs> I'm broken right now. But I'm, at least I'm having a bliss. It's all smiles, best feelings ever. I'm driving in. I walk in the house, and you're watching that eliminates the brute shit. Then well, you're telling me about hanging out with the roasts. Like, you're ooh, killing my ooh, vibe. Ooh, I want to open the ooh, door. Ooh. I want spring. If you open that spring door, it's going to smell like funnel fries. The spring is sprung, dude. You cannot hold back spring, bro. It's gonna the smell. The like and COVID cannot stop spring. Yeah, let's let's wind back first. We have we've and at some point I really do want to address how disgusting Matt's friends are. We'll get to it. Disgusting? How, the elite dude. Oh yeah, obviously. It's insane. So we the go creation that is Butterly. Yeah, Butterly is not <laughs> not human. So we go back to that. We go in a time machine. We go back there. Friday night, you guys were browing out. Wait, oh, now we're back at the bachelor party. Yeah, we'll go back right. there. We got All a lot right, of we got a lot of ground to cover. The good, the happy feelings you had there. You're talking about the pleasure dome. I have <laughs> I have no idea what went on at the pleasure dome. Yeah. People weren't nameless. I haven't been to a strip club since fucking Nam, dude. Now nah, they're cool, man. 
Last time I went to a strip club, funny enough, my cousin was on Molly, and it was at Show and Tell, and he's like, "That would be dangerous for me." Yeah. Yeah. It was good that I was around just dudes. You would look like Rasputin if you were in there on Molly. Oh man, yeah, (laughs) I would have been a problem. (laughs) Yeah, my cousin was on Molly at Show and Tell, and he looked over at me. He's like, "Dude, I can run across the stage." Like what? (laughs) He's like, "I'm gonna run across the stage," and there's like the bouncers there are animals. Oh yeah, yeah. My cousin. 170 maybe Frisian Who Pat? Yeah Gets up And just darts it Across the stage all, well, Strippers dancing Just runs across All the stages Jumps off Bouncers miss him Like fucking Bart Simpson Yeah Runs out of the Fucking strip club And then chills At Dunkin Donuts That's next hilarious time. dude Yeah that place Is fucking gross Yeah yeah This place is way more fun Yeah I mean It's way more like Just fun vibe It's not yeah. that gross Yeah but show and tell Is very nasty I remember being there At I mean, dude, Chantel, it's like Colum- Columbus, Bull, Delaware Ave, Philadelphia. I mean, that's that's rugged it, in the places of the world. Like, it, that's dirty East Coast stuff. Yeah. We were up in the mountains, dude. It was just mountain folk. It's a bunch of people just drink hose water their entire life. <laughs> okay, man, there's nothing wrong with that. Did it for, what, seven years? You like Chantel? No, I'm just saying I drank out of it. You're more of a pleasure dome years. kind of guy. It's fine. That was out of pure necessity. But, yeah, up the mountains was fucking chill. And then that was that was my first time drinking in this year. Yeah, you're having fun. Just having a good old fucking time. Everyone's like, oh, you don't drink because you're going to be gay. Was I gay when I drunk? No, you were good. I was chillaxing. And if you're unaware, that is a mixture of chilling and relaxing. And we debunked this, dude. You term not, I coined. You did not coin the term. A dude in – you're so far away from it. It was coined when you were born in London. I in was the born. House of Lords or House of Commons. Can't remember. I did that. They, <laughs> they were like, who's born? <laughs> William? Is he – Crying? No, he's <laughs> chillaxing. He's chilling and relaxing. His hands are behind his head, <laughs> and he's blowing out talking about his NFTs. Feet are, his feet are crossed. <laughs> I only talk about and I've been talking about NFTs since 1992. <laughs> that, was, that was my first word, NFT. Dude, I've never seen Gary Vee. He's a lot weird. I've only heard about it from Tim Dillon. Like it's, he's a lot weirder looking than I thought. It looks like someone's holding back his face while he's trying to talk Yeah, dude, Matt sent me a Tim Ferriss uh, podcast, too. And so just the way they talk. It's everything. It's the words and the cadence and everything. You might as well just be speaking another language. Yeah. It's, I can't. It's fucked. I just can't follow it at all. Dude. Yeah. They like just talk about investing and instead of like Warren Buffett. Now they say what Warren Buffett says, but curse. You know what's weird about it is on like a psychological level, they're using this like really weird manipulative, like excite- exciting talk. Yeah. Like it's all like, dude. You Crush are, your goals. Like you are in here. You're in the room. And you're the best time in, the, in America. And, ever. We're going to win. Yeah. We're all winning. Yeah, you're going to be poor for the rest of your life because you're never going <laughs> to invest in an NFT. Yeah. When are you going to get a million dollars and invest in an NFT? Yeah. I'm still confused. Dude. It's the it's like, it's the same shit I have with COVID where it's like, why make something when you can just lie yeah. and say it's worth a ton of money? It's same, like, yeah. I made a... I have a clip of Michael Jordan dunking, and it's worth a million dollars. And you have a bunch of fucking retards. Like, yeah, that's worth a million dollars. You're chilling. <laughs> like, you don't have to do anything. Do you know how people put the Jordan stickers on the back of their cars? Dude, what is good? Like, there's golden Jordan stickers everywhere. Like, everyone has the golden Jordan sticker on the back of their car. Well. At least here. Do they have a fat one as a joke or no? I don't think so, but you could try to make one. I saw. I was driving, and it, like it was fucked up, like it melted. Yeah, and I was like, dude, that would be hilarious. They just have like a fat Jordan sticker. <laughs> that would be chill. Yeah, for some reason, I see them all over the fucking place. Yeah, it's just fucking style stuff, dude. I don't know. know if it's like a, my Puerto Rican neighbor, but like all the like Spanish people and Mexicans, they all have the golden Jordan sticker. Yeah, it's cool. Do you get them from buying Jordans? I have no you idea, dude. I have no How idea. How many Jordans do you have? To be honest, the phone, dude. Remember when I did have Jordans for a summer? You bought. Yeah. I remember I got Jays. You bought high top Jordans <laughs> to work out on. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, never got addicted to perks. But yeah. good job. <laughs> that was a bizarre move. That was a bizarre. That was a bizarre time. Yeah. You did something I would have done in like sixth grade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I gotta work right, out dude. now. What are the cool sneakers, Jordans? I was like, I need sneakers. 
I never had Jordans. Are they cool? <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. I, I completely <laughs> forgot that you worked out in Jordans for yeah, a while. Yeah, I was trying to find pictures of Zeus, and there's a picture of me in the park. It's just my foot with Zeus, and yeah. I was like, damn, dude, I had Jordans. Fuck yeah. Sneakers of the day. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I feel like if you buy a pair of high-top Jordans, you immediately get five adversaries, <laughs> and you constantly talk <laughs> about them so, online. I mean, we have so many adversaries right yeah. now. Dude. You immediately get perkhead addiction, and then just, I dude, hate all my enemies. I don't know if you were awake. Oh, you were not awake, because I'm still pissed that you weren't away for this the fucking people don't realize beezer is a muppet like like when you <laughs> when you when i was little and you'd be like do they have legs do they move yeah, like yeah. it's like there it is the dude. Bees. he is so fucking funny yeah he went on a rant about his adversaries yes. and the haters dude yes. And oh my god, it was so like our enemies fear us shit. It was so funny, dude. Dude, but like, that that it, opened my eye. Like when you told me about that, it's a fucking hard pill to swallow, especially if you're a fucking fighting the kid, bro, king of this thing, any of those fucking meaningless podcasts that are out with just like random comedians to get together. But none of them are friends. Yeah. Literally none of them like each other. I don't think they even talk to each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's obvious. Like, when you watch it, it's like, dude, none of these guys are friends, well, and they're <laughs> hosing you for ad money. Yeah, Tom called me up. Tom called me up um, after the bachelor party, and he was, like, saying how fu- how funny Matt and Shane's was with Gerben. Yeah. And he was like, dude, that would – that, that would have been funny if I didn't know those guys. Yes. And then he goes, right after that, I rolled into, like – um, Your mom's house. No, Burt Kreischer. Oh, and, Bear Cave. And Bill Burr. Oh, fuck. And uh, what do you call it? And I was like, yeah, dude, they probably just know It's that horrendous. This is just a way to make money. Yeah. I try. I'm not hating at all. It's just like I'll, I'll try to listen to podcasts. Not that my time's that valuable. I listen to the same five songs over yeah, and over again. Yeah, right, right. But uh, what do you call it? I tried to listen to a podcast the other day, and it was nine minutes. I was nine minutes in, and I was like, what? The fuck. fuck is this? And I shut it off. Yeah. And it was like two dudes that I'm supposed to like, like, and it was a bunch of ads and then them <laughs> talking about comedy life and all this shit. Yes. It's Canaries crazy. in the coal mine. It's crazy. You're a beta. I mean, it's so bad to the point where I'm listening to like six different layouts for May for my horoscope, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it's like, this is what's coming up in May because I can't, I have nothing to listen to. It was weird. I was like, I was, I was listening to this guy and he was like lightly bitching about not making enough money. And how he's like an older comedian. Yeah. Kill and I was just like, well, dude, you just talked for nine and a half minutes about nothing. Yeah. It's People trash. already shut off, you know? Yeah. I, Not I, that we're saying anything, but I mean, yeah, these guys I mean, are like, these guys have kick agents. Kick us off Patreon. They have agents and shit that are like, you should put together, how about with this guy? Why don't you do Yeah, that's the crazy guy? part that there's a team of individuals behind that and it's trash. Oh, yeah, dude. It was like the Fellowship of the Ring. Like, how strong those fucking dudes all are. Yeah. Like, all, we were up in the mountains, and it was like... That's I, an elite unit. And, I, I mean, obviously, I was on drugs. So, I took a handful of mushrooms, and when the, yeah, I, did I didn't that. want the Molly to stop. So, so you found Molly. And, dude, <laughs> honestly, I think I have this now as, as a skill, as a feeling. What? I've never felt that good before in my life. I'm a yeah. broken person. Like, you gave me I that. I you that just was said a I'm a gift. Rogan person. Swag. Right. Um, yeah. Love movie That's watches. like a gift. That was like a gift. From from angels to me. Yeah, it was uh, it was hilarious watching you do that because <laughs> I know how good the feeling can be. But the only two I've done it twice. One time was down the beach where I thought we were gonna hang out with chicks and we never did. So I walked from 28th Street oh, to wow. 95th Street, back wow. to 28th Street, back to 95th Street. Almost lost my teeth and then went back to home. <laughs> yeah, my teeth are noticeably shorter. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, I was just like my pupils were humongous and that was that sucked. And then made America one happen. And the Silk Road was out, so I'm pretty sure I just did speed. Yeah, right. And I was, like, in a fucking huge crowd of people. I told my cousin, Derek, I'm going to fucking die. I got to get out of here. It was, like, hot as balls. I remember groping women that I know. I think about it constantly, and I cringe. But that's neither here nor there. But I know grabbing random chicks. Not random chicks. One girl was on my shoulder, not bragging. I could handle it. And the other chick was in front of me. I know them both. Oh, you were just getting feely. I was getting frisky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's disgusting to behave like that because I'm a colonizer and I see that now. But the good feeling of Molly is amazing. And it like, I never thought of it the way you guys did it where you're just chilling, but it's probably way better. Yeah. I mean, I don't think these drugs are meant for younger people because you don't need them. 
No, not at all. Like, you know, like after a fucking shell like this, dude. Yeah. Been through a war mentally. Got a lot of miles. I'm broken. Yep. Basically, fucking. Uh, People call you cum guzzler. That all goes away. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, not that. Not even that. Um, You're so shitty to fans. The thing that fucked me up was that I watched my mom die of cancer, and that existed. MD and I watched that, yeah. her. I watched them give her two years of Oxycontins. Yeah. And never tried any guy like a guided mushrooms, uh, a guided mushroom experience. Yep. And Molly would have been amazing. Yeah. MDMA pure MDMA would have been amazing for her, dude. I watched her hallucinate from opiates. It's probably for, horrible. It's it's horrifying. It's an it's after death. school special. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like it, it it was legit. Like looking back on it, it's like times that by everyone that's had cancer. Yeah. Since the nineties. Yep. And that shit exists. Yeah. And you can't give you couldn't have given her that feeling one time. Mm -hmm. A doctor couldn't have been like, you know what, you need this. Just a little feel, bit every day. Or whatever. However they could do it, it's just like. You know, if you're bot, if you have uh, tumors on your bones, you you're fucked. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like you can't let them feel like that. Jesus so let them have Christ. a good time for a little bit. Same with the troops. Like if it makes you feel that good, instead yeah. of giving that, it's like let's give the troops fucking Prozac. It's like, dude, just well, give. Well, this is how evil big pharma is. This is why it's so heated with the vaccine. This is why you know this is fake because the same guys that fed my mom those pills while yeah. fucking MDMA exists. Yes. The same fucking e – that's evil. They do shit knowing they're going to have to pay out billions in lawsuits, and they're just like, yeah, worth it. Yeah. And every, like, Well, the funny shit with that is the fucking Johnson & Johnson thing. Like, they're just losing the marketing war. Johnson yeah, & Johnson yeah. didn't have enough fucking money tried, yeah. to keep going. AstraZeneca, they're down low. Pfizer and Moderna are just killing it. They're spending the most money. They're sponsoring 60 Minutes. Yeah, but they are talking about mRNA vaccines – are going to pick up the American GDP. And it's like, that's going to save us. They're going to like, they're going to cure sickle cell. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was crazy. I, I picked my laundry up today and the lady there just got a shot. She was like, Oh, at least I didn't get the Johnson and Johnson. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. It's working. Oh yeah. Big time. They just fucking mudded Johnson and Johnson. And now it's just Pfizer and Moderna. Yep. Two fucking conglomerates I mean, dude, that are just going to fuck everyone up. PR firms like Century Self wouldn't be worth watching if the shit didn't work. Yeah, I know. You that, know what I mean? The shit works. PR works. Yeah, that is – it's really starting to piss me off because no one's batting an eye to the fact that there's 1,500 flu deaths this year. <laughs> That's legit on CDC. Yeah, well – Bro. Yeah. Kidding me? Just stats, dude. Straight. Am I straight retard? That's or like is that funky? That's shooting stats. Is that funky? Yeah, it's funky, bro. It makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it's the flu doesn't exist anymore. That's why, like, you're trying. I'm trying to chill the fuck out. I'm trying not to get all, my panties up in a bunch about all this shit. And then I see a number like that. It's like no one thinks this is weird. No, nah, dude, I'm not. My panties are no longer in a bunch. I've had my eyes open to it's springtime. Yeah. I've seen the skis. The skis today, they're the regatta. They're playing softball. They're wearing masks, but they're out. Yeah. The skis have not left us, dude. They're going to fix this. They're it's, not They're not going to put up with this forever. Because there's too much fun to be had. Especially with... We built this... They built this country, dude. Hmm, they eliminated the brutes that built the country. Colonizers. So, I mean, thank God for that. Yeah. And now we get to have fun. Yeah, I got through the first episode of that, and it's just fucking pure propaganda. Like, nah, dude. The Frenchman fucking... Frenchman, Frenchman debunked it. Yeah. It's so sick, dude. That I don't want to lose my shit, but like I called Matt, I spazzed on Matt. Why? I was just like, dude, I gotta tell you what the French like. The French sat like I was. You I got liberty to say it, or is it gonna ruin his shit? It's not gonna ruin his shit. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, what, it's just facts. It's just that big is facts. facts. Yeah, just big facts. Elaborate. Empire happens when one group has more knowledge than the other group. Yeah, that's the end of story. He said the rest of it is just stories. He it's goes, all fake. It's, he's like, dude, it's so sad because you wish these. Like, cr great narratives were true. Yeah. It is just it's a when sick story. It's just when one group has more knowledge than the other group. And we went back to the the Spanish-Portugal empire mm -hmm. and took it from there to, to now. He took me from there. Yeah. He, dude, he can go back to, like, Roman times. Smart as fuck. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, you know how retarded I am? I was like, 
I was talking to him about like other authors and shit that like Matt has turned me on to. Yeah. And he's like sitting there like kind of shitting on him. And I was like, oh yeah, obviously this is the guy that teaches those dudes. That's insane. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is the, this dude teaches business, uh, financial history at Wharton. That's, the I mean, top. that's the top, you know, yeah, and it, obviously it makes the most sense. And then you watch shit like eliminate all the brutes. Knowing that that's the truth, like knowing yeah. that that dude knows the truth, and it's like, okay, what the fuck is your angle, well, dude? This is the craziest shit. The Spanish and the Portuguese Empire, they had an empire before yeah. the British. So the British and the Dutch were chilling. Mm -hmm. They were not quite an empire. The Spanish had an empire, but back then, all what all that what wealth was was gold. Yeah. So like gold, getting gold and having gold was all what wealth was, and then. When you were close to the gold, you were close to the wealth. So the empire, like when you tried to roll around in Spain, you had to pay tolls and tariffs. Yeah. They ran it like a mob. Yeah. So they were just like, fuck it. We have all the wealth. Like if you want to be near us, you got to pay the toll. The Dutch and the British saw this and they were like, fuck that. Like if you guys, you guys can come chill with us. You guys are cool. You can come chill with us. If you bring some of that gold, that'd be cool too. But you don't have to pay any tolls or tariffs. Yeah. So all of the, all of like the the real elites, like the goats, were like, yeah, fuck that. No one wants to pay tariffs. No one wants to pay tariffs. They're like, fuck that. So all the all like the good knowledge rolled up to the British and the Dutch. Yeah. So I'm like, the French is telling me this, and I'm like, okay, so the freer your society is, the more wealth you create, because wealth, like the more knowledge you get. Yeah. Because people that are smarter are attracted to the freedom yes right so then the british now have all this knowledge and the spanish are still chilling in this gold time it's like that stopped being the what thing. wealth was yeah like so now the british know more than the spanish and it's over bro they win they start an empire yeah so the du it's basically the dutch and the british teamed up the dutch east india company yep and the British East India Company. Was that like the start of it? When That's they the that? start of the empire that okay. we live in. We inherited. Yeah. So like they created this empire. I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm listening. Yeah, no, not boring nah, at all. No, this is goat. Like, you, say, you say this all the time. People want you to keep going. Like, so, so the British and Pants. the Dutch are chilling now. They just This is like the 1600s. Yeah. The Spanish is on the, they're on the downturn. They're just chilling with a bunch of gold. They just have a bunch of gold and they're like, that's cool, man. We're going to open up worldwide trade. So they create laws for Who? worldwide trade. The British or the The, the British okay. in London, in Got the city it. of London, the merchants the get The city together. of London, not London. Not London, city of London. Right they on. get together and they make up these like merchants laws and they're doing all this like calculating and this is what this dude teaches. Yeah. This dude goes to the archives of central banks Come to do on. his research. Come on. And uh, Primary so source. Dude. They, they go source. around. They create, so right now the, so the Spanish had an empire, it was limited. Mm-hmm. They had, like, South America. They were just hunting down gold. The British and the Dutch are like, we're going to open up a worldwide trade organization. Yeah. So they do that. And then they keep going until, like, World War I. And then the pound starts to go down. And the dollar starts to go up. And for, like, 30 years, the British historians, like, the British try to keep the – they try to keep that knowledge to themselves. Yeah. So historians are like, oh no, the, the pound was still solid, dude. It was fucking shit after World War One. America's <laughs> empire had already started. Yeah. So like the American empire, and it was a freer society, right? Well, wealth the wealth switches. So every time like a, one group gets to know gets more knowledge, mm -hmm. that's the beginning of a new empire. So the British Empire was like free trade kind of. Yeah. And they went around the whole world, but then the the world wars happened and all that shit. America, their empire is built on their currency. Their financial tool is debt. Yeah. And this is what blew my mind. The reason that the dollar is so strong is because they'll keep printing them. That's and insane. Every time that every time these economists try to figure out, like, what's going on, the dollar, like, confuses them. Like, in 08, the dollar, like, the GDP went down, but the value of the dollar went up because they kept, because the Federal Reserve was like, yeah, we'll keep making them. So we, there's a, the British created a global empire then the dollar became the currency of that hollowed out empire yeah and then since they keep printing it the whole globe if you have money it's just tied to the dollar that's fucking bonkers dude. so if they keep yeah yeah <laughs> if they keep printing the dollar the dollar is stronger 
That's insane. Whereas, like, before, like, if you're Greek, if you're in Greece, right? Yeah. Their economy crashed. If you if you have a currency, they want to create scarcity and hold on to it. So that'll... In, that'll make it more valuable? Yeah, but the dollar is backwards. So, is it, uh, I don't know, did you ask about hyperinflation? He said that there's going to be inflation, we'll experience it, but the rest of the world won't experience it as much. He thinks the IMF is going to go bankrupt. He said they're nothing but that a cartel. That pumps me up. That pumps me up. He said they're up. nothing but a cartel, up. dude. But th- so he, is he saying like not to worry about the hyperinflation shit that It'll everyone's be, spurging about? He said about? there's going to be inflation, but it's not going to be like Weimar shit. Nah, it's not that. It's not going to be that bad. Well, Things are going to be good. White pill. There's a white pill there. But I'm just yeah. saying like that was crazy, dude. Yeah, that's insane. All that, all that eliminate the brute shit, and it's all it is is empires. One group knows more than the other group. Yep, that is a fictional show. Oh yeah, like a lot of books that were written. You like weasel fiction. I don't understand why they come up with this shit like of uh, It's weird. Like how they bad They try would... to put race into this. It's insane. And it's like, dude, this shit is from way before. They like and they like fetishize how Native Americans and slaves were. Hey bro, the Indians were brutal. They had slaves. Yeah. At one point in that show, the dude from America scalps the Indian. It's like that's their move. That's <laughs> yeah. theirs. I mean, they scalping. Scalped. Yeah, yeah. They bodied themselves from scalping someone Dude, and then bringing you know it back. you know what else is crazy to think about? Not to pivot from the fucking uh, Frenchman's talk. The shit of, like, when they started materialism and science, that was part of all this. What do you so mean? Like, so, like, um, Isaac Newton and all those dudes. Yeah. He, he, he's been through Isaac Newton's checkbook. Chill. It dude. exists, bro. Chill. They had very deep finance like they had a ton of investments. Ledgers. Yeah, they had tons of ledgers. Yeah. And uh those guys, they were crazy. Like so they believed in Kabbalah and they believed in science. Oh, yeah, same with science, Tesla. Science was just starting. Yeah. So like but science got so much shit fucking wrong. And always like, wrong. Before that. So right before all that shit, they built the cathedrals. The Gothic Empire built the cathedrals. Show it Dude, this. they believe. No, I will not show it this. <laughs> they believed in that God. You're loaded was, for bear today. God, God damn. was one with everything. Obviously, pretty much when you smoke DMT, that's the Goths. Yes, that's how we're. We are the Ostrogoths. That's why stained glass windows exist. That has to be. Dude, those cathedrals don't have like a Jesus on them. They're mandalas, bro. Bro, people are getting mad when you say that. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean. Ap- apologies, Christians. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is insane. Like, No, dude, I was spurging because I'm sitting there with a the Frenchman sitting there going, I'm sorry, to ke- I'm sorry to keep going on. And I'm like, dude, I could do this. Inject this in my brain. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the wild shit with like Tesla and the pyramids. Like everything he did was three, six, or nine. Like yeah. he would drive around somewhere three times before going in there. He was so spurred out on that stuff. Dude, I watched this th- pretty cool documentary. I'm not done yet, but it's on Chris Farley. And uh, what a goat. Mm. He had like OCD where he had to touch things. Like he had to touch things a couple times and yeah. lick things. Lick? Yeah, he had to like lick things. Dude, my fucking, Crazy. my buddy's dad went to school up in like Buffalo or whatever with them. And um, he said like him and David Spade would roll into a fucking random ass like, um, what do you call it, lecture hall? Yeah. And just start spurging out. Like, doing things in the lecture hall to fight. Like, David Spade yeah. would be chasing Chris Farley. He'd fall down the steps and shit. Yeah, apparently, like, uh, they were... Lauren Michaels was like, I'm going to start making movies, guys. If yeah. You, like, I guess because Wayne's World was such a big hit. Yeah. Um, he was like, I like the way... they Like, apparently, like, Farley and Spade were fun... They had, like, a fun thing backstage. Yeah. And they were like, can you just make that in a movie? And it's just the Tommy Boy road trip. Like when they, when that's Tommy hilarious. Boy goes on like, like the road trip, that's just them fucking around. That is fucking hilarious. Yeah, what is that great. on Netflix? I don't know what Tommy Boy's on. Oh no, the thing you're watching. Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That uh, the fr- when the Frenchman broke all that down after knowing that and watching Kill All the Brutes, it's like, it's like so fake, dude. Yeah, because I told him I was. Dude, how I'm bad was that hearing, opening scene? I'm tired of hearing this shit about white people are evil. Oh yeah, I mean, dude, you know what I mean? It's like literally suck my dick. It's fucking nuts. I'm out there yesterday moving those slates around, and like constantly, black people are coming up to me being like, w- "Is this going to be for rent? What are you making this for?" It's like, dude, I've lived here for ten years. <laughs> I'm like, this is my house. Yeah. Like, why would you think I'm doing this for you? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking insane, dude. It's nuts. It's nuts. I mean, that that I live in clown world. Yeah, that's why I, at the end of the day, like, you have to stop fraud. Like, you can't 
continue on with your life when it's like this chick could barely hold her fucking Newport 100. Yeah, and she was like, could be any and sitting there being like, <laughs> basically going like, you're making this for me, right? Yeah. I, I are you kidding me? And they're not from the neighborhood, like you. Yeah, they're not real Philly guys. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's why, like, dude. At the end of the day, you just have to hold it down. You have to be fucking honest. Like, you can't yeah. sit there and like, I'm gonna put up a Black Lives Matter sign because it's the right thing to do. It's like, dude, that chick just bought three fucking houses. How's that feel? Oh, How many Black fucking Lives little Matter black chick? kids yeah, did she right. fucking save yeah, yeah. with their three houses? It's all fake, dude. And what do you want me to put a bigger sign up in support of her? She's hosing you. Like, all these fucking foundations, all the Black Lives Matter money goes dude, to fucking act fucking, blue in this chick's house. If fucking bananas and mayonnaise is a sandwich, we have bigger thing. We have bigger problems Bro. than systemic racism, dude. Shut up. We got to worry sandwich. about tongues. That's a good sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know why they put that in the trial. There's no need for that. <laughs> If that's a thing, dude, we're way different than I thought. Yeah, that dude's going on a world tour talking about <laughs> Greg Floyd's fucking banana mayonnaise sandwich. Dude, I don't know how you did it. I don't know why the Chicago Tribune would write an article on how do you make a good banana sandwich. The banana mayonnaise sandwich can't even say it. I can't wait for some like Pro tip, hipster artisan place to have like a banana and mayonnaise sandwich. Bro, that's gross. <laughs> that's gross like if you look at those two things and go this is a sandwich good we got problems bro. yeah yeah that's like i was all this like chauvin trial the one kid that just got, got fucking killed fighting with the cops they're all like spurging out like people are putting shit online like everyone's saying it's their fault they should have libraries they don't have anything it's like dude I grew up in a great neighborhood, never went to the library fucking once. <laughs> Can you once, stop yeah. it with this don't have libraries bullshit? They got fucking iPhones. No one needs a fucking free library. Well, they hollowed out the middle class of people that can talk about this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just fucking retarded. Like, anyone, like, going on and on about this, like, dude, you can pick a million things where cops look fucking bad. You can make, pick a million things where black people look bad. It's yeah. just shit's fucked up. If it's a bad area, shit's fucked up. Yeah. That's it's the nuts. end. There's no, like, the chick pulled out a fucking taser and they're saying it's white supremacy. No. Yeah, that's I wild. will go in the streets and protest to get every cop that's a woman off duty because they should be in a kitchen. I mean, CNN <laughs> is showing the guy from Rogan with the UFOs right now. That's how fake, like, that. I'm just saying, like, their level of discourse. The is, World like, Inquirer. It's just, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, ch let's chuck race and UFOs at them. Yes. That's what they're at right now. It's, and so, I understand. it's nothing. It's very, like, dude, it, I understand why the elites, the so-called elites, because I would go back to the fact that Matt's bachelor party was the elites. Yeah, different elites. But, different elites, but I understand how they would fear, like, a conglomeration of, like, regular-ass dudes. Yes. Because I was on a couch with Sid, and I've never, every, this dude saying stuff, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe stop, you're in my head. Yeah. We're the same. We're the same person. I mean, it was insane. That's, I'm like, I know Shane's like, oh, dude, Sid's insane. It's like, it, obviously, because yeah. we're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> everything he's saying, I'm like, right? This dude's right? This dude's right about everything? Uh, that's what, like. Now, you cannot let us get powerful together. You can't. And it's going to look, it's going to be really bad because they're slowly doing that to black dudes. They're slowly fucking with them. To the point where, like, yeah, why is everyone being such a bitch? I can't say faggot or no homo. Exactly. Hey, brother, come on over here. <laughs> come on over. And this is what's just going to happen because, dude, the news is a joke. They're going to be growing up looking at their kid being like, you better not do any of that little Nas X shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're they're pushing them to the limits. I, I mean, yeah, it's just like. Breathe, Bill. Bill, relax. We got to slow down. That shit pisses me off so fucking bad. <laughs> Because you sit there, you talk about the fucking libraries and shit. You talk about all this stuff. You have Black Lives Matter. That's good. Chuck a rainbow on it. Why? Why are you chucking rainbow and trans shit into black people? Why are you hating on my kings, dude? Because they're trying to break up the family. That's what's really there. About one and trillion percent. The Black Lives Matter thing is just trying to break up the human family. Because yes. we're, all, we're all the same color, bro. Literally. On the inside, <laughs> all the same color. I know that for a fact. Not bragging, bro. Yeah, that was very confusing, man. Yeah, I, I cannot stay like you would think that black girls wouldn't have the pink when you're little, you know, and then you see it and you're like, what? Yep, <laughs> same as me. <laughs> what? You just got sun more. Yeah, the uh, all those like I was watching that shit and like they are just 
killing you with fucking propaganda and trying to get you divisive and like all these people were not were on on arms like yeah. dude they're fucking retards fighting with a cop don't yeah, do that i can't even i mean like until i walked into your house dude I haven't even been able to look at this. I've been listening to the same five songs. Because you know what? I was on a mountainside with Tim Butterly. Yeah. On mushrooms. That's what it should be. That's an experience, dude. Yes. That's where we're trying that's to wizard. get to. Yeah. But that's a, that dude is a saint. Yes. He handles drugs very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly confusing. <laughs> yeah, that was... You guys ate so many mushrooms. Nah, uh, Shane did. Yeah. Because I was like, where are the rest of the mushrooms? And Bartley just turns around and goes, Shane ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for him eating all of them. Oh, I was fu- that fucked me up. Just pegging out on mushrooms, thinking you're about that. See, like, be, uh, what's his name? And Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny fight with, or playing with <laughs> little Sass. Shane uh, thought he was going to be with Sass, and then he met the devil. Yeah, dude. What kings? Absolute yeah. kings, dude. Yeah, that's what, like that's it was sh- crazy. Like when Be- when Beezer was going off, I was like, "That is kind of nuts." Yeah, I mean like, that top that, tier operators. Yes, that is a tight knit group of friends, which we are in. We're friends. Maybe not. I mean, we never got to hang out. That was the first time I ever hung out with them. Yeah, that's. The first I've time. seen them a couple times, but that's the first time we ever chilled. Usually, it's in the back of the green room, not bragging. That's where the <laughs> comedians flesh out bits. That's where we uh, get funny. That's where we think about our fans, dude. That we love. All the fans. <laughs> All our fans, dude. Yeah, I mean, that was just happy making time. And that's what I was saying. Like, I will take that over some treacherous bar. Like, if you're just chilling at a house. Yeah, but that fun, was, I mean, that was expensive. Like, bars are supposed to mimic a, a place where you can go and chill altogether. Yeah. That's not your house. That's, yeah. That was, you can't go get a mountain house every time I want to hang out. Yeah, yeah but that, that was just. A good old time, and that's why all this shit fucking works. With Shane, Gillian, Keeves, all that shit. All this shit works because Shane, Moses, everyone's friends with him. Don't do Moses on him. What do you mean? Dude's King Arthur, bro. King Arthur? Yeah, he's literally king. He's he's literally Aragorn. I know, but when it comes to tears, Moses level. Okay. But then they're all fucking boys. This is how you make funny shit. If you're not, you then have Saturday Night Live. That shit's not funny because <laughs> none of them are friends. All gay as fuck. Yeah, it's weird, man. I, d- I just wish everyone could. I think like Shane and all, all of their shit is just going to go way up because that's the good feeling. That's everyone yeah, being fucking vibes. friends. Yeah, yeah. All those other things, get the fuck away from me. I watched The Nevers last night. Yeah. Bro, burn HBO's headquarters to the ground. That show sucks so bad. What is it? It's fucking retarded. It's a bunch of like girls with superpowers. I'm with it. You know I love superpowers. It's you know I love powers, dude. I'm trying to think. Maybe the creator of Nancy Drew, something of that level. Maybe she made a show. That's like that's what level it's on. And it's just them with secret powers fighting the bad guys and kicking ass. Okay. That's it. It just it's just a horrible show. Okay. Like, this is the next shit HBO has to offer. It's like, you gave us Thrones, now you're going to give us the I think what you're starting to see is uh, the lack of creativity in, like, when they make stuff. Yeah. Because they're just going to algorithms. Like, tell me more about the show. Like, what is the show? Where is the show? When is the show? It's like, I guess it's in, like, early America, like, the 17, 1800s era around then. And it's just these two girls have a school of girls with superpowers. That's X Men, and they're trying to fucking no. It's the Nevers, you fucking bigot, <laughs> and they try to like fight all the bad guys who are trying to get after them. Yeah, and it says like if you look this show up, it's like a mainly woman cast, and it's like a bunch of chicks and a black dude. Yeah, it's like you are trying too hard to make something that's. That's not- what I'm saying. It's just they're just plugging in. Stuff it yeah, it seems like AI made like you yeah, know AI made the show. There, yeah. It's X Men. Right. What you just said is just X Men in the 1700s, dude. Yeah, it's it's just like <laughs> that's all it is, man. I watched it last night. Just like, dude, you. What are some of their powers? I wonder if there's any. They one probably... one girl is like she can see shit happening in the future in flashes. Being gray. Okay, go next. The other person <laughs> can harness uh, energies. Yeah. Okay. It's a popular X Men move. One, I don't know why. The fr- They're mutants. Yeah. The other girl can speak a bunch of languages. 
Okay, cool. And then the one girl's huge. Yeah, that's the X Men, dude. No, it's the Nevers. <laughs> yeah, I, like I got nothing on TV. Yeah. To a point well, where I have five songs you can listen to if you want. <laughs> yeah. I I just hated that. Like I tried to just relax last night. I came home. I ordered a pizza with potato skins. Horrible combo. I don't know why I did it. Yeah, it's carb overload, bro. Yeah, I mean, um, I, that's why I fucking went and made all my smoothies for the week. Now I get back to fucking programming. But, I mean, the last two weeks we were fucking Yeah, there was, uh, there was really fucked up weeks, man. That was like not... I, and I haven't stopped working since we got back. Yeah. Like, I have literally day and night, and you know We've this, been going until are, 8 o'clock. I'm clocking in. Yes. You watch me, Clyde. I don't like that. I have a smart lock. Shit, dude. Yeah, I mean... That's what, like, if you see the picture of me, I went, I, Christiana Brilli, great realtor, great woman. She sold the house. And if you see that picture, I'm gone. Yeah. I'm no longer on earth. I'm glued and I want to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. And then I went up the mountains. You're unavailable after about 630 mentally. I get tired. Yeah. If it's fucking. Like, there's no, we can't do cast at night. Let's, who are we fooling here? Straight it's up. just Sunday mornings, dude. That's all it can be. Yeah. If, and that's what I'm saying. If we. If we try to do it at night, it's yeah. a watered-down product. Yeah, and you don't want to give people. You want to give them quality. Absolutely not, dude. And and that, it is hard to talk to you because you just zone the fuck out. I'm tired, dude. I know, dude, but you get tired. You get unreasonably tired. I wake you, up at fucking 4. I know, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not, I don't wake up at 4. So I'm, you're talking to somebody, and it's 7 o'clock at night, and, but for you, it's, like, almost midnight. Yes, it is midnight. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's unre- like you're sitting there going, what's wrong with this, dude? I'm usually in my skibbies in my bed yeah, at yeah. 8 o'clock. It's fine, man. I'm not coming at you. Oh, no. I know. Yeah. That's like, I don't know how people, I was out last night. It was like, I got home at like 11. I was like, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm yeah. a dead person now. That's, I just, there's nothing makes me happier than going to work and then you can go to a house, fix it up. That's happy. I actually feel like I got psyoped into like a home. Like, you put me at that house to go do the plaster, and you're like, yeah. go do your plaster stuff, Spade. And I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks, Bill. Later. This is happy making. Yeah, times. it's like that. that's that's my whole life right there. Yeah, that's like when. Now you get to see me be an artist. That's yeah. what I do. That's going to fuck people up. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's my job. Going there and doing that, like when people are like, what do you do for fun? It's that. That's what I, that's what I enjoy. We're good at it. Yeah. You're on the walls. I'm demoing in front of you. This is heaven. That's why I was sitting there the other night. Like, this is this will probably be looked back as the most happy making times. There's going to be even more happy making time ahead of us. You I enjoy I mean? that. I enjoy that. Like, this is just good time. We're just having a good time at work. Yeah. That all that shit just makes me happy as a fucking clam. We can go in and do that. that and that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no fucking colonizers after you like that makes people happy that makes your quote-unquote racist individuals happy to go into a fucking house and just make it nicer yeah that's everyone has their own house they want to make nicer whether it be a house or working somewhere doing something fun that's everyone no one wants to fuck with anyone's shit everything is just getting projected to you on the news yeah like if everyone turned that shit off Everyone be chilling. That's they might even take the mask off to play softball. That was crazy. I drove through that and I was like, "Where is that?" Uh, when you go up the hill off Kelly Drive. And the, yeah, you know where the regatta is? No. Oh, okay. You said that, and I was like, "Oh, that's oh, is that the boat race?" Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know. They shut the boat that. race, and then you have to go up the hill. You go up there; it's just nothing but baseball fields. Yeah. And they're all playing softball. Yeah, I mean, maybe but they're wearing masks, which is nuts. Yeah, that's what my niece just went to a track meet. Like, she started doing track, and there's only one person allowed there for every kid, and, like, half the kids are running in masks. Yeah, that's child abuse. That's what my niece doesn't. Yeah. That's a patriot. That's child abuse, man. Yeah, like, it's just, like, such a fucking weird vibe. It's a downer, but also, it's springtime, dude. They can't. Yeah. They're not going to win. They're not going to win this, dude. Summer's going to be their downfall. All of this fake science. Yeah, alternative facts. Before all this was the Gothic Cathedral, dude. Yeah. We'll go back there. Well, we took a little hiccup down materialism. It's all going to come. We're going to be grateful for what we learned. Yeah. But we're going to go back there. 
we're going to take everything that we learn and we're going to go back to the cathedrals, bro. Yeah, you can see the materialism like overload yeah. on all social media because the whole thing is just ads now. What do you mean? Like all social media, if you go on it, it's just targeted ads. Like yeah. on another level because they know what you're looking at and what you're like. They know the exact time. If you drive, look at a um, like a sneaker for more than five seconds, then you're just going to start getting You don't even have to fucking click on it. You, your yeah. screen just has to be fucking on it. Like, people are going to get fucking sick of this shit. Because you're getting a bunch of horribly made shit from fucking China that will not last at all. And I was arguing with a person last night where they're sitting there talking shit to me like, oh, I get paid three times more than you. And I was like, okay. It's not a big deal. What's going on? Somebody said that to you? They were trying to chirp me a little bit like, oh, you're poor. You're poor. I was like, that's fine. It's like, with the money I have. What? Okay. Yeah. It's like, with the money I have. I currently have more stuff than you because all you do is buy Instagram stuff. What I fucking saw at that restaurant. Oh, fuck, yeah. At Murph's. That was insane because I've never been around. Cocksuckers. Rich people like that. I've yeah. never been around young rich kids. Legitimate cocksuckers. That was fucking insane. I don't like being out to dinner with like people like that because like they have a, like they've done nothing. Like they, they get the Patagonia vest. They've done nothing. And they walk around like they should be like kneeled down to because they've been doing accounting for five years. It's kind of crazy, man. It's a disgusting. The way that they behavior. were talking to those waitresses was well, not right. Oh, that pisses me off more yeah, than anything. Yeah. yeah, they roll in there and they're like so fucking snarky. That's like a new breed of person. Because when she's like, "Oh yeah, it got messed up. Uh, your guys' reservation was for six, and the dude's like, "It's for six thirty. And she's like, "Well, we have it down for six, so we had to move the table." And he's like, "And." The one chick's like, it's not a big deal. And the guy's just like, well, it kind of is. Like, under his breath. Yeah. And I really wanted to be like, dude, say it to her face. Yeah, you're She's a pussy. She's right there. Say it to her face. You're a fucking pussy. Yeah, fucking if so insane. All you have to do is chill for 30 minutes. It's fucking Friday, dude. Yeah. You've been working from home for a fucking year, and you're going to get shitty with some chick who doesn't even want the mask on. Yeah. Harry's at the fucking bar. The boys are fucking my chilling. boys, dude. That's my team. They're fucking... No, that's my team. When we were driving there, and you're making fun of that dude eating ice cream, melted ice cream and with Pringles. Pringles. That was a drug addict. But I'm... Yo, bro. That's me, bro. Yeah. That's my team. We drove, and you saw yeah. my... I'm that never, is like the night king of Scotty's. Yeah. On like, Percocets, <laughs> eating Ben and Jerry's with a Pringle. Sweet when and I, savory. That's When king. I enter a bar like that, that is the most natural. Yes. That's where I'm supposed to be. Yes. Like when I feel the vibe, those dudes, that's my team. You're chilling. Yeah. Chuck in a pool table. I'm never leaving that place. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a nice bar, but it's it's getting like f filled with those people like every I, fucking night. Those people really weren't really around Philadelphia in like ten years ago. They weren't. Yeah, I have not. Like this, this is, like is a just new what level of rich. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, we're driving yeah. down Frankfurt Avenue. This is like a whole new level of rich people. Yeah, this is like the new wave of generational wealth. It's crazy, just, dude. And all it is is like they don't – their hobbies are going out like that. They all go to like Tulum. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, it's constant they're, vacations. They're aliens to me. Like I don't know what – I couldn't even begin to think about what they do. Yeah, it's terrifying because it's – these are like the – they the considered elites. All it is is consume as much as you possibly can. Yeah. Go on as many vacations as you can and just drain that generational wealth that fucking four like families before you yeah. have has helped create. All they're doing is f fucking spending. Yeah. You're I mean, getting a job that's getting you like 150, 200 a year, but you're spending at a rate that's just going to wipe it out. And they have you thinking like the boomers are, where it's like, fuck that. I'm going to spend it. Like, send your fucking parents to a home. Don't take care of them. It's all me. Yeah. Isn't that a fucking. Uh, I do feel like sometimes, not to be paranoid, but I do feel like there's bigger games that play economically where people take trends. So, like, dudes see, dudes know how to do real estate trends. Yeah. And you know that there's a bunch of dudes that do group real estate in, in cities, inner cities. Yes. And it just so happens that every 30 years, there's racial riots in the cities. Yeah. Every 30 years, like clockwork. Yeah. Kind of like we need to make money for another generation of people that would invest in this Ponzi scheme. Yes. You know, and they have they have those real estate packages. Yeah, I mean, that, it's that, like, oh, you know what would be great is if the media could drum up a fucking shitstorm, yep, and lower property values. So, so the our kids exclusively, could, so our fucking, kids could get it. Yeah, exclusively you know? in those what are they called opportunity zones? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, 
you could think it's not that far fetched, dude, because it literally like clockwork. Watts, Rodney King. Yeah. It's like it, it's like sixty five, ninety two, twenty twenty one. It's yep. like it's literally on time. Every third, like that's when another generation needs money. Every yeah. thirty fucking years. Yeah, it is. It is crazy though because uh, who was that chick that did the uh, pl- not the pandemic chick, but she it was a girl yeah, yeah, fits yeah, yeah. awesome yeah. fits. All that fucking shit that got fucked up was either corporate shit like Apple stores, yeah. Targets, all this stuff. Target was weird, dude. Or opportunity zones exclusively because it was yeah. right near my house. But fucking my street's not getting touched. All yeah. these houses aren't getting touched. It's like Indiana Avenue, 52nd and fucking market. Yeah. All these it's like all prime real estate. Prime real estate yeah. for a up and coming fucking neighborhood gets wiped the fuck out and set on fire. Set yeah. it since day fucking one. Go back and check a fucking podcast. We told you this. I know, but I'm just saying, like, it's it really is crazy now that we're gearing up for, you know, whatever the fuck they're going to do with Derek Chauvin. Yeah. You know I, what mean, I mean? And it's, it's fucking sad that th- this dude won't get a fair trial. Dude, I don't like cops that much. Like, I'm cool with cops, but, like... For the most part, when they're fucking dickheads and shit, I'm like, God, fuck, dude, this fucking... Yeah. If I get cherries and berries behind me, I'm just like, motherfucker, dude, what the... F-? If I see truck enforcement, fuck off, dude. I'm just trying to fucking work. This dude isn't going to get a fair trial because everyone in the jury has already been doxxed by the fucking New York Times. Yeah. And if they let him go, they know it's going to be worldwide or nationwide riots funded by George Soros, and you know that. It's kind of like they want it. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Like they, every 30 years, they have to have these riots. Yeah. It's like, oh, this heals a nation. And then I, I watched a fucking video. This this chick, this black chick was freaking out, and she quoted, like, Trevor Noah from the night before. She's like, we're not burning – we're burning down our own neighborhoods because we don't own anything here. It's like, cope harder. That's why you're burning your neighborhoods down? This is – like, you are getting directed on what the fuck up. Yeah, I don't – I don't know, man. That's it's insanity. Like, I, it, I'm, I would never hear anybody say that around me. No shit. Nobody would fuck up any of their own shit. Obviously, dude. Yeah. It just doesn't make any fucking That's sense. That's just a script. It is yeah. a fucking script. And she's quoting Trevor Noah. Yeah. Okay, bud. Beat it, dude. Yeah, you're not even American. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, him and John Oliver just burn my ass, dude. They're like another algorithm. Like, get a, Let's get a foreigner with a goofy accent to do yeah. like weird... Guess what? Comedy, like ooh, like, yeah. they're fucking retards. Yeah, my accent's superior to yours. That's what, like, my one, the one dude I drive with, he's like fucking fifty-eight years old, insane. Like, says crazy fucking shit, nutty ass dude. But his wife is a school teacher, and she it's CNN all day long. And yeah. like, he calls him, he goes, "Dude, that one kid was unarmed. Was like, dude, he was shooting cars <laughs> with bullets." Yeah, I was like, and if someone were to die in one of those cars. Oh, that's like, oh, man, that's just nut ass Chicago. But instead, he got away and then got fucking shot by cops, and it's like that's white supremacy. It's like, no, the kid was shooting at cars. Yeah, it's, it's not, insane. It's just clown. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, this dude watches it, and he just gets to see, like the just the blow by CNN shit, where it's like a unarmed 13 year old shot. And then the same shit with the other. He's like, that guy wasn't doing anything. They just pulled him out of the car. Like, no, he was trying to get away, run back into his car. It's like the minute you get back in the car. You might get shot because you're jumping in a fucking car that could have a gun. And cops get shown that shit all day long. Yeah. Like, imagine a cop's algorithm on fucking Facebook of, like, this is what happens when the dude didn't shoot him. And it's just, like, getting domed by some random guy. Yeah, weren't the – isn't there a shit famous for, like, watch people die and live leaks? Yes. Like, they just watch live leaks? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're seeing that. Like, a dude hops back in his car and the officer's being cool, turns around and fucking caps him. Like, yeah. So this is running through every fucking dude's head, and it's making it even worse when you're getting killed with fucking Facebook algorithms. Yeah, and I mean, the guys, the same guys, that I think the same guys that are behind the fucking big sweeping trends of real estate and all this chaotic, like chaotic shit, yeah. they're squatted up with the guys that want to take the guns. Yeah, So they're like that, that They're like high-fiving each other because the, you know, they really want us to not have guns. Yeah, that is just the biggest pile of horse shit on the planet because all these gun deaths just aren't like these aren't nra like it's weird that they make it like nra members and like all these people that like want to like carry without permits it's like dude most of these homicides are just done by criminals yeah like normal people who do it the right way don't kill people yeah but i'm just saying like that there there's a thing where the media the media gets paid 
there's dudes that pay the media to create these narratives. Yeah, they want to. They want to create. They want to win on real estate, and they also want to fucking. They want their stock market to yeah. go up, and they want no one to be able to turn around and say, "Wait, this makes no sense," and then fucking take them over with force. Yeah, they want. They want to be able to control populations. Yeah, that's all that is. Like this is. It's so obvious at this point that this is a fucking farce. Like you got tricked. Don't have to spur. You don't have to fucking light shit on fire, but you can just say, "Okay, I'm no longer with this." Yeah, man, it's a bummer. You're bringing me down. I'll bring you. All back this up. all is, it. yeah, you're you're really bringing me down. I'm gonna. I'm I was like off when I was driving over here. I was like, this is gonna be great, dude. Yeah, I and mean, it's just like fucking eliminate the brutes and then this fucking this is real bummer shit, dude. It's springtime. Can't, you can't. You can't have this phase me. You like can't. This. You can't. That's what I'm saying. You can't get phased by this. So now I can watch it. Like, oh, this is insane. Yeah. As long as you're like, you're getting like heated. You're getting fired up right now. And I'm, I'm getting fired up. I can't match the fired up energy because I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? You're chillax. I feel like my face is gonna melt. I'm trying to chillax. It's springtime, bro. Yeah. Open the. I'm fucking trying to curtain. share this beautiful existence with a woman and create another life. I yeah. mean, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, I hear you, bro. <laughs> I, walked back, I walked back to my car from 25th and Montrose to where I was parked. I went by some spots, dude. You enjoyed? I didn't enjoy. I was just like, oh, yeah. I remember that place. Just walking like fucking, what's his name? Charlie Brown. Yeah, yeah. So, I need a You're girlfriend. You're walking, it's just like the Midnight Cowboy theme song playing. <laughs> I need a girlfriend. Yeah. There, there is hope, obviously, for the Patreon. We're going to open that curtain. Didn't I'll we do that last right time? Hoo wee. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing better than driving down the blue route and you see the fucking trees start to bud. That's what like, I'm saying. I figured this out the other like last week I was like, holy shit, there's spring. Yes. Fuck. Were you the one telling me about all the deaths uh involved with daylight savings? That was Hoss. That's crazy. Yeah. It literally shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't be a thing, yeah. Yeah, that like Hoss knows some weird shit. Yeah. He knows some weird shit. He knows shit. a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, like that shit he was saying with the population being maxed out right now, it's just going to go down. Uh, it's not maxed out yet, but yeah. That's not, I mean, a lot of people know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, did I enter his head? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, you owned him. You Put controlled him, him like Crank casket. for a while, dude. Put him in a legs. fucking casket. Yeah. That was nice. Because what people don't understand is, I'm the youngling. Yeah, Been yeah. the youngling and that forever. was a long time coming. Yeah. Because that was just brute force. That wasn't really IQ. That he was be- bullying us with. Yeah, he was yeah. he was stronger and bigger than all of us, but it is it is weird because it's a weird fucking feeling. Because I mean, you were the oldest, you're a Christ child, no big deal. But cu- like when you start realizing that you have some sort of power to fuck with people, yeah. it's insanity. You reached another level of awareness. Yes, yeah. and I I enjoy this. Yeah, that's w- I think that that's what life is to try to increase your levels of awareness. Yeah, make something and become a higher functioning human. Yes, you try to put people on. Well, once you reach, once you get yourself up there, then you can put people on. Yes, like it's tough. It a lot of people don't ever get anywhere. They don't even attempt this shit. I watched it last night. Yeah, you you listen to Pop Lock and drop it from two thousand seven and drink fucking margaritas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one chick was like drinking. She said something like, "I'm just gonna drink till I die," I guess, and like trying to be funny. I looked at her just dead in the face and went, you should make that a caption. And she thought I was dead serious. What's a caption mean? Like a caption on a picture, like, you're a girl drinking, like, going to drink these till I die. Like, oh, I don't even want to live anymore. Like, there's chicks jammed up right now that they can't go out and get, snit, like, I guess, penises. But they're, like, sitting there, like, going to a park and reading and, like, trying to make – they're, like, every girl, hate to break it to you, shouldn't be cops at all. You suck at it. You should just – be doing what these types of girls do and you go to the park and you make up a fucking thing in your head that some dude's going to eventually approach you but hey what are you reading you want to get coffee sometime just go out and make your own little rom-coms let the guys handle everything just sit in parks let the dudes come up to you stop it with all this stuff yeah stop it with the cops stop it with the politics you're fucking shit up it is kind of crazy when you think it like a, a girl it's not it's not that crazy for a young girl to think that her life should be a romantic comedy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they actually think that in their heads. And, and that's they how can. deep their side I mean they can because Literally, you have a pussy. You yeah. can do whatever you want. They can do want. whatever they want, yeah. If you're a girl listening to this, you don't have to worry about fucking anything. Oh yeah, they don't have no idea what it's like. 
like worst case scenario, you might not have to work. What do you mean? Like if you're like, oh, I don't know, like my career, like you're all fucked up by your career, yeah. and you're at least a four and a half, you might not have to work. Yeah, I mean that's the thing with the strip club is like the strip club is a little microcosm of the world where like women here we are in like a little gynocentric world yeah they're the, they're running the show how are they running the show with their pussies these big giant dudes protect them so when they're when big giant dudes can protect girls they can manipulate all the money out of you and you can't do anything about it and you'll smile and you'll smile and and they they are girls that do dive deep into female psychology yes. strippers if you sit and talk to a stripper they're that's what girls are if they were left unchecked yes That's unbridled female psychology because they have the protection of the house. Yes. They have the protection of the dudes and they're, they're told to manipulate. So there are girls that are sitting there going like, I don't care. I'll manipulate. But inside every real girl's head is a stripper. Yeah. Every waitress is a little version of this. I mean, anyone in the service industry is a stripper. (laughs) If you're cutting a hair, congratulations. You're stripping. Man, please stop touching my head like that. Yeah. You're giving me bonners. <laughs> <laughs> that, that head wash bonner shit is fucking crazy. I might get a haircut from a girl pretty soon. Yeah, instead of a black dude. What the fuck, bro? Not that it matters. Okay. <laughs> what bigot. is you doing? <laughs> bigot? Yeah, that was I was in there last time and he's like he looked at me. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, Did you get your vaccine? Did you get right? the vaccine? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. looked at him like he just I was black yeah. and he called me the N word. Yep, yep. What yep. the fuck? That's what it's gonna be like, dude. They're gonna want those uh vaccine cards. I'll print gonna, one out. They're going to want I'll us fucking to have, break the law, dude. No, it'll be a QR code. Dude, they were trying to shoot for this like five years ago or f- 2018. Yeah. Four years ago. They were trying to get vaccine passports with a QR code that would have all your bank accounts and all your credit fucking information. Blow me, dude. Oh, dude. They're, yeah, they, it's insane that like it's like, oh, because we care about you. It's like, no, because they can full control over your health and your money. Well, they're trying to spin it like it's just so convenient for you. Yeah, blow me. Well, they're going to make it convenient like if you want to get in places yeah, you're gonna have to walk iPhone, in dude. you're gonna have to walk in and go boop yes and then once you have your qr code you can go into the building they make so, like, it real I, comfortable for you it's gonna create like a separate society me and matt were talking about it 100%. me and matt were talking about peace like when it comes to this starting off i'm whole, trying to make as much money as humanly possible and then piecing out to bolsonaro we can get a bunch of land somewhere on this on this earth Brazil. on this plane of existence yes and start a whole new thing yeah. Because this is not, I'm not doing this. No, nah, this is no existence. Frank Poo yeah. said it on his deathbed, this is no existence. I don't have pancreatic cancer, but this is no existence. I don't like this at all. Oh, I know, yeah. It's it really, really sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. But at the same time, springtime. It's That's what I'm saying. You can't stop. You can talk all this negative shit. Come for a drive with me. I'll drive from Ricky's house to here, dude. You'll be like, holy shit, life is amazing. Yeah. Isn't it great that we get to do all this stuff? I pretty much became a DMT entity. Yeah, that's good. You know what I mean? I'm just like, this is this is amazing, dude. Life is awesome. Obviously, we should share it with more people. Can't Let's make more people. How do you do that? Gales. Sex, bro. <laughs> I fuck so many chicks, dude. <laughs> there should be more of us, dude. Yeah. No, we we don't have Patagonia vests, so we will remain without one. It is. We funny. need to buy Patagonia vests. Like, I'm sure pants. they look good. I'm sure in their heads, they're like, I look good. They're thinking too much about the way they look. And I look at them. Fag. And I'm like, you look like a fag. <laughs> For real, your pants. Not pant- that it matters. It's like little pants. It's kind of gay. Like, yeah, like tight little pants. Bird little, dogs. Little puffy fucking jacket. Like, yeah. bruh. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Jackson hole hat. Whatever, man. Those guys at Murphs, whatever the fuck they're wearing. Yo, dude. Not trying to be harsh, but you're gay. <laughs> yeah. That's just all it is. No one's sitting there like, I don't know, man. It's kind of gay. <laughs> Yeah, no one's saying it. You've been ta- you've been in the shower for twenty five minutes. You gay? <laughs> How come you have color coordinated socks? Fag. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't be illegal. That's too fun. What? Like just be like, that's kind of gay. I mean, you can say it whenever you want. I do. Yeah. That, I mean, I make it a point. If like we're at Murphs and we're around the yeah. hipster chicks, I will say it so they can hear it, dude. Fuck the yeah, vaccine. Yeah, I mean, I, was, I think I was talking to you the other day. Like, that's fun. Being gay, it is is gay. Yep. Fun. Like, that's all it is. Like, simple dude, ass. Simple ass, dude. Not hating. <laughs> simple ass. Yeah, dude. If you're, like, sitting there fucking dudes. It's just like, you're fucking dudes is one thing, but, like, if you're, like, hanging out and, like, trying to get a dude as a boyfriend, it's like, yo, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> simple ass. Yeah, if you're trying to suck a dick, dude, 
I don't care, but it, like <laughs> it's gay. Yeah, yeah. If you're just sitting there and trying to kiss dudes with stubble, ew. <laughs> Shit's weird. Yeah. That's queer. You guys like that word? I'll say that. You're being real queer right now. I'll be like sitting at home watching something on TV. I'll be like, oh, man. Like, I'll watch that thing. I was like, man. Watch that thing. The about, I was watching like that thing with Chris Farley. I was like, dude, I should get a – it would be great to have a girl and be like, yo, have you ever seen Tommy Boy? And watch Tommy Boy. You yeah. Know? It's a goofy little movie. That's fun. It's kind of fun. But, like, imagine if you wanted to do that with a dude. That's gay. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like you had that same thought. Like, I I wish a dude was here to watch this with me. It's like, yeah. I mean, bro. I fell asleep. Like, I don't know how <laughs> any girl, whatever, I mean, probably because they're gay. Yeah. But I, my, I'll i fall asleep on my arm. Yeah. And in the middle of the night, I'll wake up, my arm's dead asleep. I touch my hand, and I'm just like, ew. Oh, my hands, like, I couldn't yeah. imagine I'm sleeping. Especially right now, after all that plastering yeah. in the house, my hands are gone. I'm sleeping, and yeah. a me comes and grabs my forearm. Yeah. And do I do it sometimes when I'm falling asleep, being like, to pretend this is a girl for a second when you're falling asleep? Yeah, yes. really depressing. Yeah, but yeah. for the most part, I don't do that. Yeah, it's fun. It's cool. But it is just weird. Not that it's wrong, just weird. Yeah, it's weird. Call gay a gay. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Go back to pretend you're straight, have families, and then fuck dudes on the side. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta continue us, even if there's more gays. I don't care. Just I have, said that one time, one time to my mom. I was like, I was like, I have, to- I have all the tolerance, no hate, no bad feelings towards it at all. I mm-hmm. just don't think it should be promoted because it, it's, it's a dead end for society. And she was like, "What the fuck does that even mean?" Like, all you should like, be able to say that. Yeah, and I was just like, "I mean, like, not everyone can be gay, so don't promote it." And she's like, yeah. "What does that even mean?" I'm like, "Literally, like, the world would stop being people. Yeah, if everyone was gay, what it'd be AI. Mean? What are you talking about?" I mean, that's kind of, you're, yeah. you're Andrew Shapiro. <laughs> I watch, I listen to his podcast on half speed, dude, and it sounds normal. It's fucking weird. But I got to take a fucking piss. We'll do a Patreon. Hope right. you're happy that you got a fucking you episode. Your you fucking angry. Yeah, I got him. Like a clock, dude. 105. Oh, that's good.